receive some creep aggro or something like that. He takes that away. All of a sudden, you are just fully under the uh, the spell of... Oh, rise. Oh, the arrow. Don't. No, he walked into it. That'll be first blood for somebody. It'll be for Ev. Clicks it with the ion shell from a distance. You can get some experience for that one too. Adam, pressure up at top and for Ev. Could look for this kill. They spot the ward coming out. They know exactly where that is. I'll be an easy D ward and possibly a kill onto Rise. Yeah, Rise needs the help of uh, Ace now. He gets the heal. He still have the Ghost Shroud if they want to try and slow down Adam, but it's, he's got that the early boots, so he's going to go for the chase down underneath the tower. Pretty easy kill here. He may give up his life for it, and that may end up kind of being worth it if they can actually get it. The right click is there. Ace will get the maxed out charges of Death Pulse and get a, a lot of mana back for that. So that's kind of worth it considering the fact they were giving Bounty Hunter all this uh, early level 1 experience. He's now level 3. That was a big boost for C9. Yeah, you're safe lane they're getting a solo kill and getting the death pulse procs as well yep so is in a bit of trouble here against the hesajo bat rider tries to go for the ancient suicide but doesn't get it hesajo was just on the high ground had the rubik walk into him yep so misread the situation on fada's marana uh against the 34 and 13 of baby knight he can't really do much jungling just because of adam they might be able to catch anoya here but Noya actually turns around does manage to get the stun dodges the arrow fada Having rough luck there with the arrows started off with the beauty, allowing first blood to happen, but ever since... We're seeing them start to pressure this top tier one tower now with the help of it. He's out of mana, though. On the purge creep, so... <laughs> nah, an arrow, shuriken, that slight midi stun is what allows the stun of the arrow to be able to land at Baby Knight. Maybe going down. The Fairy Fire is actually going to be enough to save him. Turns around, gets one raise, two raise onto Adam. Adam's dusted up, so he's going to get dropped. And now Fada is in trouble as well as he doesn't have leap. Hester Joe is going to be able to collect that kill as well. What a big play there from Cloud9. A huge turnaround. You can see they're ready. It's a 16 minute mark, and that's where Bears will be become a lot stronger. And what I really like is that with the Bounty Hunter kill, SF immediately starts doing some jungle because before he couldn't. Hester Joe is going to be caught. Pull back by the vacuum into the wall. That wall slow allows the telekinesis to land. And uh, Bears will pick up that kill. But we'll see if they plan to use this aggressively in the next minute or so. Uh, and who, if they did get aggressive, say they do, gods, who would you like to see them gank? Do you want to put pressure on the Necrophos, or do you want to try and keep this SF down and underfarmed? I think Ace is, to me, more the key player. Like, SF is going to have his way getting items and farm, like, C9 are really good at protecting him, but I feel like Ace is often kind of more on his own, split pushing. He's had the one hero with him in the Disruptor, but I think like a three three hero rotation with like a Bounty and Mirana could find those kills. But for now, they start off on bottom. More TPs coming in and the counter. Yapsor actually lasts is up. It has to Joe who gets pulled back into the arrow of Fada with a double damage. They do manage to bring him down. Uh, one or zero for two trade actually, as they manage to kill the Ogre. And like you saw with the Observe Ward, he's in position. Nice pick up. Three right clicks he needs, and yep, nice little snipe. There's a uh, fresh blink dagger for Hester Joe. He'll find Yapsor. It's not a monster big kill, but it is enough for Cloud9 to threaten this tier 2 some more. Oh, nice vacuum wall. Now, that is not going to be a fight by any means. Nice turnaround there from Baby Knight quickly killing those illusions. Um, but it is, again, just a uh, lands a big arrow here. But C9 are actually ready to turn. They're going to turn fight has to joe glimpse. chasing down some where's the glimpse I'm, I'm waiting for it to be laid down on somebody here but they just can't quite get the vision with nighttime they see yaps or yaps will be the pickup but the kinetic field doesn't latch he doesn't get sent that far back and the apps may still be able to get ahead uh it's the reaper scythe laid down that'll hold him in place that'll definitely get the kill i'm sure but it's not a reaper scythe kill and uh, that is just more and more time for Firo, honestly. I would trade that yeah, minute's he, worth it. Of... They're actually going to get popped oh, here. The arrow, arrow lands on Ace. Has to Joe. His smoke is popped as well. Bears are going to try and come forward here with the Moonlight Shadow. Ferev throws out the backing wall. Nice. Into the corner there. They're going to be clapped up by Roshan as well. So slowing down that retreat. Baby Knight again on point. Firo is actually going to jump up onto the cliff area here. Trying to catch Hester Joe. Hester Joe is low. Nice. Telekinesis toss back into four as well. Hester Joe still surviving. Has a track on him. Firo is going to go for this kill with his ultimate. He'll pick that up. Baby Knight lets loose the ult. But Firo is already away. So they're going to have to get Adam instead. Uh, the gem. Oh, there we go. On Ogre. So Noya did manage to pick that one. Hit and a bit of small little fight breaks out, which leads to just the one kill. And even if Bears don't contest this next Roshan, which they still might do, I still feel like just delaying that Roche by like a minute or two is, is a win in itself. And yeah, they'll 
come back towards the pit. Has to show he's got the gem back in his hands and we'll find Adam. Adam bounces that shuriken between the two, trying to run himself away. He's got the movement speed, but he can't outrun Glimpse. So he'll be stuck in the kinetic fields, Fada and Firo, again with the split pushing during that time. Still have the Guardian Greaves. Firo pops the early ultimate here to make sure he does not drop below half HP. He's going to go back in, hits another pounce, trapping in Ace. They need the rotations out from Cloud9, but they just aren't getting them. Ace throws out a Reaper Sight just to be able to slow down Firo and hopefully get back, but he just can't get there in time. Rise was almost there with the Kinetic Field Static Storm, but now... I'm just reconnecting back in the game. I missed that last 15 seconds. Well, Batrider tried to catch Firo with that smoke. Doesn't actually result in much, and if anything, Cloud9 are going to be able to make their turnaround here. An arrow landed on to Baby Knight, so they quickly jump forward. Kill has to Joe. Yaps over the Stolen Requiem. Does get a lot of damage out onto Cloud9 as well, plus the damage reduction. C9 cannot fight this one. The BKB is going to wear low here on Baby Knight now. Firo and Fada both jump back in with their Blink Daggers. Bears are just completely outmaneuvering Cloud9, and Arrow actually misses on the Aegis Revive, but Baby Knight is kind of stuck here anyway. Maybe with the explosion damage, Ace can get a kill, but he doesn't have the Reaper Scythe, so even as the SF dies, Bears are still healthy enough. Ace can't do anything, so he's just come back and died almost immediately. Runs around the Shrine, is going to activate it, but uh, he's still five seconds left until the Reaper Scythe is up. I don't see him surviving long enough to be able to do anything, so wow. That full on team wipe there, I believe. All five going down throughout the course of that one, losing your gem as well. heavily to have that gem. That was his money that was gone into that one, and he's as poor as the Rubik right now. You've got five very farm cores and then a big, big drop off down to what are effectively the, the five supports at this point. And Pharaoh, he's not done. He finds another kill, a warding disruptor, gets punished. And they know exactly is that all their damage comes from SF. I knew you wanted to be Trixie Yapsor. He had the stolen last, so he's going to go for the kill on Rise, but this will result in a turnaround. Cloud9, we're all nearby. There goes a vacuum. Reaper's Scythe finishes off Rise. Firo came in from the side with the help of Fada. They do manage to take down the Ogre. Baby Knight runs into the arrow here, doesn't get the BKB off in time, and they're going to try and go for him a little bit. Lasso onto Fada, though. They're actually in a bit of trouble. If Fada can get out, he's good. Now Firo lays into Baby Knight with his right click damage. He pops the ultimate. Baby Knight's down to half health, and Ace and Hester Joe need to try and help him out. The wall goes down. Baby Knight gets eliminated by Firo and his own illusion. Rev stuck inside the fire with the sticky napalm stacks, but it's still not enough. A jump forward. Hester Joe can't quite catch him. Adam may be dropped. Flame Break is going to take him out, but Rev is going to get away. Now the bounce back in. Firo has all these stats upgrades. Immediately manages a defusal blade off the ghost shroud. Ace is not going to survive through this, and Firo just keeps on marching forward. The stun goes down. Instantly taken off by the dark pack. They'll finish off Hester Joe and wipe Cloud9, I think, from this existence. I'm not sure if Rise died early in that engagement or not, but either way, multiple, multiple kills go on the way of Firo. His Lincolns is rapidly approaching. Yeah, Rise was that opening kill at the very start, and that was a second full team wipe of the game. Firo well and truly online, becoming a huge menace to deal with. He's about to reach his level 20 talent as well to get even more stats. He's hunting for the Disruptor. He knows Disruptor doesn't have any friends, and he's... Yeah, he's, he's no. He gets it. Oh, just in time. That's brutal. That Team wipe is... times two. All right. Yeah. A baby nine here. Baby nine already down to half health. Does have the BKB though. Fada jumps forward, throws an arrow out from the tree, surprises Noya, lands that one. Hester Joe's going to try and respond with the lasso, but this opens Firo to make his initiation onto Baby Knight once again. These heroes from Bears, though, seem to be too tanky with the BKBs. Ace can't lay down that Reaper Scythe. He blows it down right as the BKB wears out, but it looks like Fada still managed to survive through it. A pullback there, Glimpse Static Storm completely misses, and Firo is going to turn on to the... Baby Knight SF, finish him off, get Rise as well, and probably jump for more. Gets a four staff, throws out the pounce, hits Ace, defuse the blade up immediately as the Ghost Shroud is laid down, and racking up those stats. Ace is going to try and TP out, does make it. Hero is just playing like a, a beast this game. That defusal is working out fantastic against the Necros. Ace goes back for a Ghost Scepter so that he can try and take advantage of that defusal cooldown, but uh -huh. um, that's all happening. Another pick, Fira catches. The Bat Rider, Shivers, or an Ag Scepter feels like you only have 2k gold. It's like, well, we're losing fights right now. I, I can't save for something big. I've got to buy whatever I can. So, I mean, right. Ghost Scepter kind of hits that price point. But, Vero not done. The Observer Lord finds him another kill. And there's a Lincoln Sphere on Vero, meaning he can really engage towards and 
with that, Cloud9, uh, very blind, going to be stuck on their high ground. Observer Ward place immediately going to be countered and catching Adam. That's going to be a nice pick to start this whole entire fight unless, oh no, the vacuum downwards has pulled Ace down to the low ground. This could be a one for one, but it looks like Ace is tanky enough to be able to... Cloud9 uh, still in a position to, to hold on to their high ground here. They may have killed a bounty, but I think they still need to be very careful about leaving their base. There's the vacuum. Has to Joe drop low. The Shiva's going to be able to finish him off. Fear on the back line. He's already taken out the Disruptor first. Deals with that AoE silence. Now purging up Ace. There goes that extra bit of ethereal form for Ace, keeping him alive, but they need to activate the trying to save Ace. He turns around Reaper's sight, but that's going to do minimal amount of damage. He's just hoping to be able to save his own life, but now an extra nuking power. The arrow's not enough. A shrine keeps him alive. Cloud9 will not utterly lose that fight. They lose some of their supporting cast, but it's the cores who stay alive, and that's what it's, what's important here. Dying. Ace dying there would have been pretty disastrous. Didn't that buyback as well and could have led to this Rax being taken. Not too much Essence Shift yet on the Slark, but he's going back here. Arrow. Oh, oh what a vacuum pullback there from Forever. Nice play. A shuriken to finish him off while in ethereal form. Cloud9, no buyback, no buyback on the SS, so they don't have the damage necessary to get a Reaper Scythe kill in the first place. Ace, they've got the pullback, now a counter pull from Yapsor, grabs Hesta Joe, yanks him back in, rises dead, and that is it. Cloud9 will lose to Bears, be dropped down to the lower bracket of this playoffs. Man, this Fero kid, you can see why this Bears team...